Hi, today we're going to teach you how to do a rib cage braid. We've started by pulling all the hair just straight back into a ponytail. We've gone ahead and wrapped a strand of hair around the elastic and pulled it through with the topsy tail just to conceal it. Go ahead and from the very middle of the ponytail up at the top, grab out a small bit of hair that you're going to divide into three sections. It's really a simple braid. You're just going to plate it as if you were doing a regular three-strand braid and then add in some hair to the outside strands each time you plate. So hopefully you can see that okay. You'll want to add pretty small strands and make sure that you pull those strands down into the braid instead of over into the braid. We're going to constantly be pulling the hair down into the braid. Keep your strands about the same size every time you add in. And it will take, it's kind of like a fishbone braid where it's going to take a little bit longer because you're working with just such a small section of hair each time that you're adding in. And as you can see, those strands are being pulled straight down each time. And it's easiest to start with wet hair. But that's just op that's optional if you need. If you have a day where your daughter hasn't had a bath or anything like that, you can do it with the dry hair as well. Keep working your way down. Adding that hair in each time. Now this is easier if the hair is about mid-length. My daughter has very long hair, so it takes a while to kind of get all those strands pulled in. See how it's pulling kind of straight down? Continue on. Almost to the end of our hair now. Gather in our last few strands. And with this braid, you want to make sure to plate it to the very ends if possible. We're going to plate it as far down to the end of that braid as we can get. So here we go. Plate it all the way down to the very end. It'll kind of get a little pokey at the end where those little ends stick out, but that's okay because that will be hidden. Secure your end with an elastic. And then what you're going to do, you can kind of finish this off any way you want, but what we're going to do today is grab some bobby pins. Grab that middle part of the braid just like that, pull it up and just secure that into place. So it kind of spreads out those ends as you can see. And then I like to kind of just tuck that bottom piece under as well. So let me secure that into place.
more barbecue. Okay, let's see. Now we've got that in place. And that is a rib cage free.